the green world. That's right, we're all going green. And how much will I save by going green? I'm green enough, okay? By the time I die, I'll probably have saved maybe 13 trash bags and a gallon of gas. Huh? Okay. How green do I have to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just hard to do without looking like a little sissy is yeah. what I'm saying. Look at this from coedmagazine.com article, How to Go Green Without Excuse Looking me. Gay. Coedmagazine.com? Coedmagazine.com. How to Go Green Without Looking Gay. You should, first of all, hunt. <laughs> That helps, I guess. So, I don't know. Use a straight razor instead of the ones you throw away okay. to shave. Mm -hmm. Pay bills online. Duh, I'm doing that. Yeah. Use refillable water bottles. Mine's around here somewhere. And ride a motorcycle. Oh, uh -huh. nice. Yeah, go green my right. foot. Get the facts at uh, junkscience.com. Junk science, that's Steve Malloy's website. That's what I'm saying. Right, very good. It just takes too much thought to toss out a piece of trash nowadays. Greenies are the cause of this. Yeah, I used to be throw all my trash in one bin and walk away. Not worry about it. You know who yeah. greenies are? These are the kids from the 60s that had the bad acid trip at Woodstock oh. and couldn't move on. Cool. They know so many things that are so yeah. factless. Yeah. Have, yeah. have you heard of the electric car theory? No, tell me about that. Greenies think that these wussy wagons cut pollutions. <laughs> electric cars need electricity, they're Einstein, which is generated at the power plant. And over half the electricity in this country, hello, comes from coal. All right. Coal usage, of course, in the U.S. is down by 2%. Good for us, huh? Hug a tree. But uh, the U.S. is not the only uh, group of people on the planet. Hello, China. Yeah, China uses a lot of coal, don't they? They are. They're in build-up mode, using 2% more coal every year. And we owe China a lot of money, so I think we have very little weight to influence their energy policies. Yeah, okay, and sorry so. about the Little League game. Whatever, get over it. <laughs> Why don't you go to China, Greenies, get them to change their ways, because China has more power over the U.S. economy than the Fed does. Is it politically incorrect to call them Greenies? I don't care. All right. Write your letters just to check me. It. Whatever. Just what, check it. What do you want to be called? Sissies? No. Anyway, Greenies are fine. China will put more coal pollution in the air in the next 10 years than the whole planet puts out in one year. So wow. I'm not cutting back, okay, Greenies? Go to China. Greenies. And put your complaint there. The Green Movement has been pestering me for a long time. Uh -huh. Low-flow shower heads and toilets, mm -hmm. plastic, glass, paper, and yard trimming recycling mm -hmm. you know what greenies are like those rabid little puppies little dogs nipping at your ankle mm -hmm. you know you'd like to just give them the old boom michael vick you know what i'm saying send a poodle flying do you use these mercury light bulbs where are they these things you ever see these things <laughs> this is want to calm you down a little bit this is going to kill us all here here <laughs> if you're using them high five my little earth lovers but now let's get real you might save a little money on your electric bill, and good, because you're going to need that money because it'll cost you about 2 k to hire a hazardous waste removal company if you break a mercury you're turning bulb. Red. Hold on. Sorry. Go better now? Okay. Just want to make sure. Um, mercury right, so. doesn't go away, and it's right That's here. That's hazardous material, mercury. That's right. That so stop buying these little poison pinatas. <laughs> I swear, laws are on the books now to make you use them. Forget the fact that they pose a risk of mercury poisoning to infants and children and uh -huh. pregnant women. Uh -huh. When the ball breaks, the cradle will fall. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> I like that. When you break one of these things, here, here's a few steps in the uh, government's 14-step disposal process. 14 steps. 14 steps. Right, calm down. It says to cut out the piece of carpet where the ball broke. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. These are the 14 steps you have to take if you break one of these swirly yeah. light bulbs. These are just a couple right. of them. There's right. more, but place that piece of carpet with the shards and the other debris in a glass jar with a screw on top. Remove the jar from the house immediately. Then what, big brother? Landfill? <laughs> you know what? Mercury seeps into the groundwater. Oops! Forgot about that one. Here's what to do. Take the jar to Ikea. You know, oh, this, this oh, yeah, foreign sure, country yeah, that yeah, yeah, right. brings their little oh, sure. you know, easy-to-assemble furniture? Oh, yes. Well, they sell more of these than anyone else, and they have recycling containers because Ikea, like I said, sells a ton of these. Here's what you do. Where do they sell the, them to? They sell them to, to the White House. That's right. No, no, no. Here's what you want to do. Ship that bottle to the White House <laughs> and tell Mr. Barack Hussein Obama to uh, dispose of it for you. How's that? And there's your little tip on what to do if you break Very a nice. poison pinata. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's selling on the video.